No. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to waste my time fixing this, because Mike is probably coming back at some point, so you guys can just deal with the... Is it, is it right here? Okay, it's this big. Yeah, that's annoying. Either way, here we are. Oh, look, we win the match. Yep, I knew that was going to kick me out, so now I have to go find... Oh, okay, return to the game. There we go. <laughs> it's like a cruel ultimatum, which is unbelievably up my alley. Torrential Gear Hulk, more fling. Hold on, let me open the window, because when it rains, I like opening the window. Oh my god, it is pouring out there, guys. Wow. Let me see if I can show you real quick. What do I take here? Cruel Ultimatum? I feel like it's Cruel Ultimatum, because that's going to be fun. I just did this the other day. My 1200 M12 cards are worth 27. That's a lot, too. Can we get me many mics one me can we can we get me many mics one day? What are you saying right now? I'm awesome. I don't like Kiki Jiki. I mean it's fine. Um But I kinda want the cruel ultimatum. I also just like yeah, I'm taking cruel. Cruel is a sick card to start with. Look at this, let me see if I can show you guys real quick. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it very well. But it is like, it looks terrible out there. It is a miserable, oh, Gilded Lotus? That's pretty good for a Cruel Ultimatum. Mataholic, congrats, buddy. Congrats on making it for first pick. I like congratulating people for getting to the stream on time. That's really where you want to be. I think Gilded Lotus is probably the pick. We actually get to go Gilded Lotus into Cruel Ultimatum, Cruel Ultimatum if we have Blue, Blue, Red, Red. Oh, we could have taken the, the the illusions. I don't think we're gonna third pick a second pick in illusions. Wow, dude, Mike Mike left at the wrong time. Spire Bluff Canal, that's pretty good. I feel like demonic consultation is probably better than limited because you get to uh, well maybe not because you have multiples in constructor right. You have like four of a card. Um, Kalidus does seem pretty good. I might just want the Spire Bluff Canal because we're playing Cruel Ultimatum. I think it's probably Spire Bluff. Spire Bluff is probably more important than Kalidus here. I like Ch Chainer's Edict actually seems pretty reasonable. Ponder also seems pretty good. I think we probably want the Ponder here. I have the Robot Vacuum going in the living room and it's pouring rain here and I actually can't tell which is which. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the ponder. I heard the other mic had a voice like an angel. <laughs> I mean you know what? Sure. Oh dear God. Wow, that was loud. Also, the power could go out. That is definitely an option. So, uh... Did you guys hear that? <laughs> oh, we heard that one. Oh, boy. That was utterly unbelievable. I think Mike is Mike still on. So, I'm going to shut Mike's mic off so that we got one mic. Oon Mike's. Liliana Vest is nice. We could actually just go search for, uh... Cruel Ultimatum. Does it rain every day? I mean, it's the summer. It's Florida summer. It's the rainy season, so... God, it's getting real. We are not long for this draft, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. I'm, I feel bad about wasting my, my currency on this. Guys, donate and sub as quick as you can, because we might not, might not have a lot of time here. It's either Blazing Spectre or Terror, I'm pretty sure. Actually, Liliana's might be pretty good. Well, she didn't win it single-handedly. You know what I mean? I'm going to take the Terror. I think it's probably the most versatile. And then, of course, you get Murderous Cut and Agony Warp in the next pack. I'm going to take Seagate Oracle. Nice fair cards. Thunder. <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay, also that video is real weird. One Thunderbuck. Kerwin, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Ooh, I like Shriekmaw, and I also like Reflecting Pool. Yeah, the walkers do seem pretty powerful, Chad. I agree with you, buddy. It's either Shriekmaw or Reflecting Pool. Oh, God. Yeah, we're going to take Shriekmaw. The faster we get our deck, the faster we can actually just wait for the games, right? Like, we don't have to play the games now. We can just build the deck. If we get through the drafting portion, Blightning came back. That's pretty gas. Um, if we build the deck, if we finish the drafting portion, even if the internet goes down, we could play our games later. One Thunderbuck. Thunderbuck is the name of my space name. When I was in the Space Force, they called me Thunderbuck. Colossus. 100 raining some thunder bits. Fanta also, what are we at? 361? Man, I feel like we're better than that. One lightning buck. I like that. I like a lightning buck. You guys are amazing. I'm going to take Diagraph Colossus. It's the only card in our color. If we get a couple of good zombies, maybe it's fine. Uh, Demonic console. This guy costs 8 million mana. 8 mana for this idiot. No, dude. What is this? Choose a card, you exile the top 6, and you hope it's not in there. Then reveal cards from the top of your lane to reveal the card with the chosen name. So if it's in the top 6, you basically just kill yourself. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This card seems unplayable and limited. Tell my family I love them, guys. Thunder. Th -th thunder. Lightning and the thunder. Add com. Oh, Blazing Spectre came back. I was hoping because we got the Blightning, so I was like, ooh, this is nice. I'm going to take this just in case. It's like you're in a haunted castle. <laughs> when there are hurricanes, do you typically evacuate or, or no? No, we don't. There's no evacuating. We're in a we're in an area that's higher than. Uh, we're not in a flood zone, and like as a so there's a Florida meme where it's like we stand outside during hurricanes because we just don't care, and it's true. Like if you live here long enough, like you get accustomed to it, and you're just like, yeah, it's a hurricane, big deal. What are you gonna do? Like. There's so many times where it's like, it's coming right at you, and then it's just literally like, oh, it veered away. One vacuum buck. Time spirals in this cube? That seems good. Yeah, I've been through a bunch of hurricanes of Yeah, you just don't care. You're just like, meh. Will you be my thunder buddy, Buck? I will 100% I will be your thunder buddy, Miss Fixin. Uh, it's either Time Spiral or Cascade Bluffs, I think. Uh, I don't think I hated any cube. No, I haven't even played this cube. This cube has been great so far. It's gotta be Time Spiral, right? This card's just too strong. I don't think it's Mox. I would rather take Cascade Bluffs and fix our colored mana. Yeah, I'm gonna take Time Spiral. That card is way too strong. Force of Will. <laughs> We can also go him to Torok into Blightning into hit into Blazing Spectre, which is a pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful combination of cards. Wow, guys, it is really, it's really loud outside. I, I hope I don't want this to be the focus of the draft, but it's kind of like dominating my life right now. Just to be clear, yeah, I think we're gonna take him to Torok. We don't have a ton of blue cards right now, but we do have a lot of discard. Prosperity, wow. Wow. Oh, Demir Signet's exactly what I want. That's great. I will take a Demir Signet. Yo, dude, just checking to see if you're streaming during this weather. I guess so. Good luck. <laughs> oh, that's my roommate Felipe, actually. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, we started this before the rain was real bad, so... Uh Get wrecked, I guess. Discard card, creature gets negative two, negative two. It turns all your cards into removal, which is pretty sweet. C 
create a Gobo Exile at the beginning. I think this card's actually fine. I don't think we're going to play other cards. Yeah, we'll just take the Guild Mage. Oh, hey, it's Sneezing Mike. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. If you're in Tampa proper, it looks like you're on, uh, you're on the last gasp. What does that mean? I'm actually in Clearwater. I'm not in Tampa, so close, but I think Vendillion Click's probably just great. One hundred move back to the Pacific Northwest. Bits is beautiful here. Is it beautiful? I heard it was smoky all over. I I, th I heard you couldn't actually breathe. Yeah, you're sneezing, Mike. Remember that, Felipe? Remember that time you were in the kitchen and you sneezed for like, it was like forty sneezes, and people in the chat were like, "Is is that guy okay? Should someone check on that guy?" That was where you were dubbed sneezy, Mike. Uh, it deals one damage to each creature and each player. At the beginning of your upkeep, it deals one damage to each creature and each player. Hmm, interesting. We don't have creatures that really care about this. I guess a vanillion click. Mike, I'm trying to move to California, buddy. Tell your bros to give me a job. Return a blue or red creature from your graveyard to your hand. Actually, this seems fantastic for us, right? California gives you cancer. Well, that's dark. I'm going to take this Terminate. It's better than Eye Blight's ending, and I don't care about PNLR here. Oh, the Cascade Bluffs came back. Our man is looking great. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm game. Uh, I'll take an either hub. It's still fixing. It's probably not great, though. The problem is if we get either hub, if we have to use the colored mana, we don't have anything else. If the Glint Sleep Siphoner comes back, I'm like, good. I will go to California or New York. Either those are those are both top tier picks. Plus, they're places I feel like I can find a job if I ever wanted to stop streaming or doing work. Doing work? I mean, doing doing streaming for for work. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna take transgress here. Yeah, our land is looking real good. Spire Bluff, Cascade Bluff, two bluffs. Uh, Blood Crip, Lava Claw Reaches. Seems good. See, we learned the Frank. That's true. California, Seattle, Florida, New York. Oh my god, you're right. I feel like our ramp is good. We got a Demir Singh and a Gilded Lotus. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take Overgrown Tomb. I'm not afraid of the Heartland. I'm just not sure it, it offers me much. You know what I mean? I feel like my industry, like the industry, like even Florida, for example. Wow, I'll actually play Urza's Rage. Three damage for three, and then you can kick it. That seems like gas. Um. So even Florida, like, for the stuff I do, like, for the game industry, working in the game industry, stuff like that, like, Florida just doesn't offer me anything. Like, I can't be here and do those things because it's just... Oh, dear God. I'm surprised we're still alive. I'm going to take this Jace. I think it's the best card in this pack. I wish it was a Mind Sculptor, but I will take it. Yeah, I don't think it's Infest or... I really like the way our deck looks. It seems like black and blue are our highest, but all of our lands are fixing for red. For some reason, I said to myself, well, I can go for coffee, but it's terrible out. Then I realized I'm from... <laughs> yeah, that helps to not be here if you're going to go get your coffee. Rabble, rabble. All right, none of these lands are good because they're all green. Not that, I, not that there's anything wrong with that. I like green lands. Uh, Hunter is not great. 
with with uh, with Thunder. He hates him. Thank you. Quacker with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Uh, it could just be Thing in the Ice. I think it's Thing in the Ice here. This is a Thing in the Ice deck if I've ever seen one. Oh, I kind of like Cyclonic Rift because we get to... Well, we get to bounce everything, really. And it's just a good tempo card. Yeah, I'll take a Cyclonic Rift. What does Arid Mesa get us? Just Blood Crypt right now? It's not great. However, Zealous Conscripts is pretty good. I do like a Reality Smasher, as you may know. I contributed to this to get to this getting into the Pro Tour Cube. That's pretty cool. That's a cool feeling. I'm going to take Conscripts here. Steam Vents. Wow. That's great. We do need some playables. I want to say it's calming down a bit, but I really don't think it's calming down a bit. Teachings only gets instants, right? Or cards with flash. Yeah, we're just going to take the Steam Vents. I can dream about you if I can't hold you tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It that gets under my skin, but dirt, but dirt. Remedy the kill this old heart of mine. I can dream about you. Alright, so. Oh, we could have had the, the illusions, couldn't we? Illusion. Drain life having to be only black mana is pretty rough. I like Bogart and Hellkite, but we already have like seven mana spell. We, I guess it's not terrible. The alternative is Pyroclasm, which actually could be very good in this in this format. I think we probably just main deck a Pyroclasm. How many creatures do we have? We have, we have a lot. We have Seagate Oracle, Vendillion Click. I guess we don't have to count. It says eight creatures. Yeah, I like Pyroclasm. Oh, bad lands. We literally have no blue-black lands. We have three black-red black, black red lands and three blue-black lands. Or blue-red lands. Still going to take the fixing. A braid is very good. And I can see taking a braid here, but I, a bad lands is just so good. And another blue-black lands. <laughs> All right. I almost want Read the Bones, because we don't have a ton of card advantage here. We have a Seagate Oracle, and that's about it. Yeah, we need two more playables. I'm going to take the Read the Bones. We already have a lot of fixing. We have six fixing lands right now. That's pretty good. We have two artifacts. Take Tinker. Seems good. Seems good. I'll take a duress here. Knight of Stronghold is actually a pretty reasonable sideboard card. Maybe the Abrade comes back. I don't think that's even possible. Relentless Dead. We do have a Diagraph Colossus. I don't think Skizik is the pick here. I'll just take the Relentless Dead. None of these cards are good. Whatever. I actually need one more card. Ooh, gross. Oh, a Dread Wanderer. Another zombie. It's a zombie, Jackal. Last pick. Be a good one. I don't want to have to put one of these cards in the deck, but I will if I have to. I might just run Duress or Transgress. Oh, wow. All right. I mean, we're playing that 100%. That's pretty cool. So now we have Badlands, Lava Claw, Sulfurous, Blood Crypt... Steam Vents, Cascade, Spire Bluff. That's pretty good fixing. I could see playing 18 lands here. Mm 
If I can't hold you tonight. Play zero mountains. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll probably play one mountain just to have. Uh, I guess we'll find out, right? This is 22 cards. Let's see if any of these are worth putting in. Or we could just play. We already have Demir Signet and Gilded Lotus. I'm not sure if we want 18 lands. Getting a blue or red creature back. Like, we can get any one of these guys back, which is pretty sweet. Guild, Guild Mage is thing in the ice. That's pretty cool. This is just when it comes into play? That's real good, man. Man, it is... Uh... It is beaten down, boys. All right, so all of these, all of these. Beating down, burning my feet, just walking around. And I think the internet just went down. Yep. All right, so we're still recording. You guys are still not going to get interrupted on YouTube, but uh, now we got to wait till Magic Online comes back up. Wow, perfect timing. So I think for the sake of uh, the sake of safety and not knowing when the internet's going to come back, I'm going to stop the video here, and then we're going to just repaste it together when we're done. So the chat might look a little different, and. Uh, Everything else might look a little different, but we'll finish the deck when we're done, and uh, we'll finish things up then. Okay, it looks like we're back. I think we're okay. I think it's dying down, but I have no idea because I'm not a meteorologist. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try again to finish this deck, and we'll see if it works. I don't know if I want to risk playing it though, because the deck seems real sweet, right? All right, so three is incorrect. We're gonna go down to one, gives us eight red sources, and, and red is our easily our least represented color. Uh, one, two, three. This is eight, six, seven, eight, nine blue sources, four, five, six, seven, eight black sources, and eight, this is eight, eight, nine. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it's too many lands, dang it. Let's sort by color just to be sure. Okay, so we are heavy blue. I guess we can just go 888, right? And then we have one. And not including Demir Signet, which actually gives us one more of each of these, which is perfect. This is eight blue. Eight black. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually, we could take the mountain out. Do we have anything to get a mountain with? I don't think we need a mountain, to be honest with you. We only need it for Urza's. We need two for Urza's Rage if we kick it on turn 11. And we need two for Guild Mage if we actually just want to play with double red, which is almost impossible. Um, the problem is drawing like four. If we draw three islands instead of any other land, it's pretty bad. It's basically like silent outside now. <laughs> I'm not a weatherman, but I know how to look out the goddamn window. Thank you. Eli Crossbow, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I don't think we want the mountain. So right now we have 887. See, here's the thing about the mountain, though, right? If we draw any three lands in a combination, if we draw two black and a mountain, it's just better. If we draw two islands and a mountain, it's just better for Cruel Ultimatum. The last thing we want is to draw three of this or four swamps. Plus, like, if you draw this, it's fine because all of these are tapping for something else anyway, right? I think it's actually fine. All right, this is going to be our deck. 
Just look out the window. Oh, I send an email to someone real quick. Text. That didn't do it. I will play first. Yeah, this hand seems pretty good. See, I'm glad we have that mountain now because I really want a red source. Had to uh, shoot off a quick little email. Wow, it's got so much quieter. That's insane. First time watching live. Just got to Twitch to see you. Love all the content I've been watching. Your old VHQ videos. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. This is nice because we can see Gator Oracle next turn and try to hit our next land. So I am okay with that. And if we hit a red source, we can just Blazing Spectre, which is also pretty good. And if we hit a land after that, we can Gilded Lotus into Kroll Ultimatum, because obviously that's going to happen. A red source? Not a red source. Okay. Well. If one of these isn't a land, we're going to be real sad. Alright. I mean, it is what it is. We could have taken Read the Bones and, and maybe drawn... Uh, you know, two lands next turn, but... Oh, wow. Incinerate the face. But now any land puts us into Gilded Lotus territory. And we have a thing in the ice, so we're not we're not doing nothing. William, 043, have a nice afternoon, buddy. Come on, land. They exquisite firecrafted us. Whoa. Come on, people now. I'm just going to play Thing here. It's a lot of damage. When is Utron going to see the time of day? I think you mean the light of day, right? Because you don't see the time of day. You get the time of day. Like, when is Utron going to get the time of day? Because the saying is, you don't give me the time of day. To receive the time of day, that's the that's the goal you're looking for there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Oh, cryptic command. Come on, one time. Oh, cryptic command me. And by Cryptic Command, I mean Cruel Ultimatum. I, keep, I think I've said Cryptic Command multiple times. I think you guys know I meant Cruel Ultimatum. You don't see the light of day. Maybe you don't see the... Maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe that's true. What are they doing? Can they just play their stupid things? <laughs> Trying to love one another right now. All right, carry Zev. Sure. Terminate our thing in the ice. That's actually fine because this was like a just a garbage creature we weren't even concerned with anyway. Cruel ultimatum. All 
That is an island. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine. We can actually go Blazing Specter Crypt Angel. One, two, three, four. We go Crypt Angel. We go Blaze. Actually, I kind of want to just take out the carry, Zev. If we deal three to them now, this deals 10. If we deal three, put them to 15, and then Crypt Angel plus this is three, four, five, six next turn. Ah, uh, no, we put them to 16, and then we have three and two. But I guess if they tap City of Brass, they just they just die to this, right? That seems like a... We're actually two mana away, though. Oh, we're three mana away. Yikes. You can't see... I mean, they're missing one card, and it's a Blazing Spectre. Come on. I mean, it's the problem is, like, I can't reach over there. You'll be fine. You guys will be fine. Come on. Come on. Don't be like this. I mean, it's gotta be Blazing Spectre. I'm pretty sure it's just Crypt Angel here. We can just... We can't... We can block... We can actually double block with Crypt Angel and carry Zo, I guess. Or, uh... Seagate Oracle, rather. Do you have any tips for creating your own cube? Not really. I mean, there's so many cards and interlocking pieces. Uh, Crypt Cube for me has been a labor of love where, like... You just have to play it a lot. Here, I'll put the island over here. There you go. Now you guys can you guys can't read the island. See? This would have been perfect there, but it's so hard to get a colorless mana in this cube, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just gonna play Crypt Angel. And we're gonna get Thing in the Ice back. Man, Crypt Angel seems great. Pro white flying and you get the it's a grave digger for one more mana. Good lord. Well, now I wish I saved the Crypt Angel, am I right? <laughs> They still have one card in hand. I think we're doing pretty well. We actually have nothing wastelandable with seven non-basics. Here's a non-basic to make it better for them, though. Oh, it's just a terror. Okay, the three, four, four. We gotta do a thing. Thing in the ice. I'm gonna terror this now. They have one card, and I also wanna get in their Seagate Oracle, so. Walladale, yes. Yes, I get it. I get it. But didn't know the card's power and toughness. <laughs> uh, Taxican, just ask. Feel free to ask, buddy. I'll just tell you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Also, did you hear that? It, it's still going. Oh, I didn't know we were waiting. I don't think they have anything to do. Cruel ultimatum. Do, 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 do. Oh, actually, Rakdos Gilgamesh is pretty good here. We just make two guys, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we can make one guy. It's still pretty good. So let's go red, red, red. Blue, black. We'll use this and this and this. Three, four, five, six. We put them to six. Cruel tomato. Cross the coast led to Chicago. Oh, I think Mike made it back. 
That was pretty efficient. He barely missed round one. Diamond lights. I think they're dead. Hard to say because Magic's a hard game. When did this become a singing stream? When hasn't it been a singing stream? If you've followed my content for any amount of time, I'm surprised uh, you're unfamiliar with the singing stream. I don't think Thing in the Ice is great here. I'd probably just want to take... Like, they have Exquisite Firecraft, Thought Not Seer. That's all we've seen, but I assume they have more expensive cards for Transgress the Mind. Oh, the old concession. Seems good. All right, so how far was Cruel Ultimate? Wow, land, 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 duress. Not looking good for Cruel Ultimate, boys. It does block things, but I don't know if it blocks things that well. I think we're just swimming like this. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Welcome back. That was pretty quick, man. Yeah, I tried to go fast. Yeah, you like Ricky Bobby? You yeah. like the Ricky Bobby of... Uh, so this is our deck. All right, so you got a Duress, a Ponder, Long Wilds, Thing in the Ice, Terror, Him, Fire Glad, You get to lick my hand. <laughs> Ursus is Rage. Does that deal 10, right? If you it deals it. 10 if you kick it, yeah. Otherwise, it just deals 3? Yeah. Okay. So it's still fine. Got Jace Architect Thought. Uh, time Spire. Ooh. Well, what's that art? I don't know. I actually oh, don't know what this that's is from. Amazing. That looks really cool. Yeah, it's real it's probably, good. Maybe it's online only. It might be online only, which is really. I yeah, hate that. Conscripts, Street Ball, and a Crypt Angel. This card's surprisingly good, especially in our deck because all our creatures blue are. Or blue or red. Yeah, thing. all of our creatures are blue or red, so. Well, uh, actually, Shriek Maw is neither blue nor red. Am I good? Did you turn me on? Yeah. Turn yeah. me on. Okay. Whatever that means. Did you turn me on? Also, we got seven on color lands. So. Oh, nice. So you said I picked a bad time to leave. Why? Because it started like pouring, like monsooning, oh, sure. like, right yeah, after yeah. you left, dude. Yeah. Like the the stream went out, but like I couldn't even see out the window. I was like, "This is ridiculous." Yeah, well, it stopped now. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. God. Did you turn me on? <laughs> yeah, it's like, nah, bro. That's not. That's not how we do. I'm gonna keep this hand. Just because of the cruel ultimatum. And we gotta read the bones and a blightning. We got lots of things. Also, if they're gonna be concerned with like uh making us like just emptying their hand out to burn us out, blightning should be fine. Hey man. Yeah, man. Can I have this brainstorm? Yeah. Okay. That was an extra. And I was funny because it was on your list and I just left it there. I was like, alright, I'll just give it to him. Ooh, that's a good that was Yeah, I would have got it from them, but they just didn't have any. Cause they don't like, have any like, brainstorms? Yeah. I mean they're like three cents, but a lot of I mean people have them so I guess they didn't have any but they're brainstorms yeah and this is also the good art too For everyone who doesn't know this is the good art okay that is the good art brainstorm just so you guys know it is the Mercadian masks version it looks really sweet in foil because the little the little bulbs are foil the little bulbs yeah yeah go get a foil Mercadian mask brainstorm then nah I'd rather just save money how much time what does that even go for I wonder it's Seven probably a good cents. amount really um, probably more than maybe like a dollar or something. Hundred and seventy nine dollars. Huh. I was like, what I don't think so, man. What does regular brain brainstorm go for? Probably way less, right? Oh, it might be a dollar. A dollar. Man, well, you it's me... such a disparity in price. Yeah, two hundred dollar for the regular and two hundred and forty for the foil. <laughs> You're not I used wrong. to have one of those. Man. I sold it at Sucker's time. You're like, oh, sold for like five bucks, I think. Oh God, it was something like that. You know any PS4 games you can get with that, man? You know you can get a PS4 and some games. Yeah. Seven cents, two hundred forty bucks, basically the same thing. I hope they play something pre-combat. They didn't. I think we're just gonna take it, and then we can. Uh... Oh, what else are we gonna do? Bounce it? Well, yeah, I was thinking of bouncing it. Nah. No well, because next time we're going to read the bones, so I want no to be able to... Say. Okay, well, next time we're going to read the bones, which is two more, then three more. So, like, 
I want to set it up so that we can actually read the bones and not have to worry about whatever they deal with. We're, this isn't a match where we're going to have time to Cyclonic Rift. We already have a late game card, so I could care less about up overloading this. But you still didn't do it. Right, because I want to wait till the end of the turn so I can they, oh. they can't replay it this turn. Gotcha. Maybe they'll play something better to bounce. They're going to Exquisite Firecraft us, yep. Diamond Love. This is where they go Lotus. Carries Ev. Hmm. They have five cards. Next time we can Duress and Blightning, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that seems great. For now, we're just gonna. We're gonna Dem Bones, Dem Bones. Dem Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Bones, These are the rules of the road. Let's take a terminate. Oh, win an island. Nice. Hunter, this the is storm's nice. Over. Why are you still being like this? Takes them a while to, to cool down. Yeah, they have thought knots here. That's true. I mean, I don't know if they have it in hand. This <laughs> is random statements onto it. Uh, yeah, here it goes. I think this is it actually. No, nope, that's just a that's just a bird. Just that's a just... fire chicken. That's problematic. No, that's good. So I guess we play this, hope you don't have anything, and then we can take four at that point. Mind Slaver. City Brass carries Ev Platinum Angel. Interesting. So I guess you keep the carries Ev. Hmm. How do we deal with this? Not very well. I wonder if it's worth it here. What, to blinding? Thank you. Yeah, because, like... <laughs> Biovisionary, thanks so much for the gifted sub. Like... Actually, is it when does it make the Phoenix at your upkeep? Turn for at the beginning of your upkeep. Yeah, actually, next turn we can just kill it. Yeah, we can. I mean, I'll just waste two removal spells on it. It's better than taking four. So yeah, terminate and then I'll rage and then terminate and then we can actually blight in the next turn because they're gonna go land carry Zev. So we should be able to hit the uh, platinum angel and whatever whatever else they draw. So there's city of brass. So we're gonna rage this guy. And the next three can terminate lightning. What's phonate illusions? Donate more like phonate. I wish we had a way to get rid of their graveyard. I could just exile the chicken. Exile the chicken. <laughs> All right. So is there you carries Zev, or did you draw something better? No. Okay. So lightning is going to hit both their crads. Pyroclasm. No, that's not going to do it. Rakdos Guild Mage could be good if we had one more land. We do not. So now we're going to go one, two, kill this idiot. And then we'll Blightning will go to ten. We'll take three here. But next turn, if we draw land, we can go Rakdos, Guild Mage, and make a guy to double block. Oh, she got first strike, though. God, she's very good. Take your stupid chicken and get out of here. Like, now that we've seen Rekindling, Phoenix, Mind Slaver, Platinum Angel, like, those are all cards I want to transgress the mind instead of duress, I think. Okay, that's now we're talking. That blocks pretty well. Two, three. See more like Seagate Snorkel. Also, if we hit a land off this guy and then we draw a land, we can just crawl ultimate him, which is pretty insane. So I'm probably taking any land here. Are you guys related? No. Well, that's a weird thing to ask. Hey, I don't know why that's relevant. We need a third black, actually, so I'm just going to take the black here.
Well, now we can double block. And she can't kill anything. Everyone's related to some degree. Every day is chicken Sunday. Oh, of course you drew a yeah, burn spell. Seems good. Well, that's actually fine. We can block the... I, I would actually kill this guy. Well, no, maybe not. I don't know. All right, one time land. We got black, 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 blue, blue, red, red, mil million red. Any land will do it, I think. Okay, sure. So you have no cards in hand. Come on, man. Untap land. Oh! Oh, man. Woo! And they get to sacrifice the carry Zev. And we get back. Doesn't matter. They're going to concede. <laughs> That's... Oh, boy. What do we get back? So you get Oracle, probably? It's probably better than Guild Mage, right? Like, they have no cards. Discard, discard, Seagate Oracle. What about that card? Discard, discard, that card. Well, that should help us greatly. Oh, now we get to Blaze. 420 Blaze it. If this is a land, I'm going to laugh. Could just be a sorcery speed. Okay. Wow, this deck is all over the place. We also have Lava Claw Reaches. Trying to do too many things. To part, start putting the pressure on. Huh. Yeah, I'll take a Time Spiral here. Time Spiral is basically take an extra turn, draw seven cards... But you don't get to it. You don't get to attack. You have to skip one of your attack phases. <laughs> yeah. What is the wait? What was the other card? Because uh, considering they have zero cards in hand, I'm probably not going to be playing Time Spiral. Do we pass a better card? I don't know. Let's play that. I really don't want to give them seven cards when they're a burn deck. So. Wow. Mike B, do you ever stream or, you, or yourself or want to? No, not really. I will shuffle. My God. Do we play land? I want to make sure we play all our lands because maybe we, we're getting close to Time Spiral territory. Nah. Probably don't need to. Probably Terror was the other card. Yeah, that's not exciting. It, this is just infinitely better than Terror then. Yep, that's pretty good, but you can't do anything with it. This turn, anyway. Can we do it? Can we get him to do it? Don't say you're not gonna do it. I'm listening to your stream while I work, and you misclick how scared the crap. <laughs> This doesn't work, right? It's only... Yeah, I was like, that's not going to work. I don't know. It's a weird block. Maybe time spiral now? Ugh, they have no cards, though. Yeah, it's true. Like, we can just Pyroclasm next turn and kill the Blazing Spectre. True. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's probably better. God, I really don't want to give them seven cards, you know? Yeah. We could just draw Cruel Ultimate, though. What if we... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana? 13 mana? Well, Time Spiral is free. You get to untap something. Right, so we have 13 total mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Same. Almost dropped the close. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like this is not a time... Like, if we time spiral, we're just like, here, thanks for the seven cards. It seems real bad. Also, we could have time spiraled into Urza's Rage, though. That is an option. Hmm. Urza's Rage or Cruel Ultimatum. Not the worst. I think we can just save time spiral in case we're in a bad spot and we need to do it. Actually, can we just kill them now with Lava Claw Reaches? I'm pretty sure they're just dead to Lava Claw Reaches now. 
Um, three to activate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that looks lethal to me. So activate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But we can actually hit him to Torok them first and then activate it. So I'm going to get rid of the Pyroclasm. Why would we hit him them first? Because they have one card. So if they have like a Lightning Bolt or a Galvanic Blast or something, they kill it. Right? Yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> you guess? I just, I just doubt they'll have anything, but... But it doesn't matter. It's still lethal. Yeah. So, like, you guarantee... Like, why do you... Ha why why risk that? Black and red. Activato. Every day is Lava Claw Reaches Sunday. Kill it with the onboard monster. Guide him. The onboard monster was my nickname in college. Hmm. What are you chewing on, man? Ice. Wow. You're going to chew ice? It's weird because I have aligners in, so it's like... Yeah, it sounded really... It didn't sound like ice. It's plastic. Yeah, it's weird. He's got plastic on his teeth. Scorpion comics. Yeah. Your mom's Scorpion comics. Hmm. You went to college? Wow. 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 No, he went to collage. Get, get a little of the peanut gallery over here. His hand seems all right. Yeah, that's why I kept it. Jerk. The jerk store hey, called. little jerk. And they're running out of you. Look what you did, you little jerk. There's that Jim Gaffigan voice. <laughs> that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. That that Jim Gaffigan. Oh, he went to college? Wow. That's amazing. Uh-oh. Anafenza. No. Oh. Yeah. Nope, just a. I'm pretty sure the only thing. An eternal witness morph card, whatever it's called. Den protector, yeah. It's always den protector. Oh, is it a dead protector? I don't think you need to kill yet. I think we can actually just play. Yeah, yet. we can just play Oracle, and uh, if they flip for no value. Get, see if we can get another creature out of it. Yeah, I'll take the time spiral. Yeah, it's got to be time spiral. Like, I'm not going to take a sixth land here. What did you study? I have an English degree. Uh, focusing on creative writing. Every day is Chicken Sunday. It's a Denny's protector. Kill it to get us a Grand Slam. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. A Grand Slam with extra butter. Extra butter? Oh, that's what he said. I was like, is that what you get? I don't get anything from Denny's, man. Never? No, there's better places. Like Perky's. Perky's? Yeah. That sounds very strange. Are you going to strip mine my Lava Claw Reaches? Don't strip mine me, bro. Oh, see, look, we did it. We did it. Oh, I like Blightning in to kill their Soren, though. Yeah, we can we can still wait on the... Oh, that's closet. gasoline. Oh, but then they get it back with this guy. They have to tap out for that, though. No, they have to pay two, and then they get it back, though. I still don't want them to get back their Soren. I'd rather... I think I think it's uh, Pyroclasm here. Yeah, but then we're never going to be able to kill Soren with the Pyroclasm, with the Blightning. Why? It goes plus one. He pluses one, oh, then we Blightning one. next okay. turn. That was Come on, don't be a nerd. Oh, it was an Exalted Angel. Fascinating. I woke up. Gotta, we can also just attack Soren here, put it down to one, so they can't make a guy next turn. Yeah, I like that better. Because now you're forced to go up. Also, we can attack it with our little dude. Yeah, we can attack it with the creature that's actually on the board right now. That is an option. Time Spiral and uh, combination with these discard spells is pretty weird. We're like, all right. Uh, we're gonna go him you. All right, blightning you. All right, blazing specter you. All right, let's time spiral. I'll draw seven more. 
Uh, what did you do before streaming? I mean, the, for the past 10 years, I've been making magic content. I worked at TCG Player for about seven years. I then I wrote for Channel Fireball and things like Newmont Gaming and MTG Card Market for two years, and for the past about year I've been just doing my own thing. So for the past ten years, I also write for PC Gamer sometimes. Uh, I just had an article about Hearthstone Gold recently. So, I mean, before streaming, I was still streaming during those times as well, but I've been doing it full time for, you know, about a year now. So. But yeah, for the past 10 years or so, I've been professionally playing Magic. Wow. Do we just play Blazing Spectre? It kills their sworn. It does, but the problem with that is... They don't discard a card, right? True. Why are they letting us use our things? Alternatively... Listen, we could still give them another turn with Soren, but they could also... They could just make a vampire, though, which is really bad against this guy, you know? Yeah, it's true. I think I kind of just want to Blighting them this turn. Or, no, actually, we can go Blazing Spectre attack them and take the Soren down to one. Oh, yeah. Tap all lands you control. Actually, this guy becomes a 3-3, three, three, so this guy's not attacking. Never mind. Uh, would I ever want to work for Watsi? Yeah, I'd 100% work for Watsi if they ever reached out to me, but... Um... I have never been one of, like, Watsi's golden children, like Gabby Sparrows or Kenji. Um, so, I don't foresee that ever happening, despite the commitment I've had to this game for most of my adult life. But, most of my most of my whole life, I guess. Not, not even my adult life, but, yeah, I think we're just going to Spectre and kill it. Would you ever work for ROTC? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Is that Wizards of the Coast? Oh, yes, it's a Rizzer. Um, Okay, I'm going to play this. Because next turn, if we draw a land, we can go Blightning and read the Bones, and I think that's better. What is your best advice for new players to Magic or people wanting to start? It depends on what you're trying to do. Are you trying to play competitively? Or are you trying to build a collection? Like, I have no idea what your goal is, so it's hard to say. <laughs> read the fucking card. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's turn six, so they missed a land drop, which is good for us. But not for them, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? No, I have no idea. Please explain it. Hey, Michael, you know what I'm saying, mate? No. I don't. Hey, hey, I don't, hey, mate. say, Michael. What'd you eat today, man? Coffee. That's what I figured. I got a, I got a text message that you're eligible for a reward from Shortstop Sports Cards. I was like, that's weird. Why did it come up now? You didn't mess with my account. Uh, I definitely don't think it's because I don't play the Pro Star anymore. I definitely don't think that has anything to do with it. Like, Loading Ready Run is one of their their golden children. Uh, like, Gabby doesn't really play the Pro Circuit. Like, So. Like, Kenji doesn't really... Oh, wow, we're just gonna... I guess we just win the game. Blazing Spectre is all I need to see. Um... Hmm. What card didn't we like? There was a card where I was like, I don't think this is great. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I don't even like want Time Spiral in the deck, to be quite honest. How do you feel about this card, man? You know what this card is? I know what it is, but I never remember what it does because it's convoluted, right? It's real convoluted. You okay, choose, let, me, let, me, let me read it and try to figure it out. Okay. okay. Choose a card name. Okay, so name a card. Exile cards. Uh, exile the top six cards of your library. Okay. Then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card with the chosen name. Put all that, put that card in your hand and all exiled and other cards revealed this way. So you get the six cards plus the card you name if you get it right. No. Okay, then I have no idea what it does. Okay, just exile the top six cards of your library, right? Okay. So they're gone. Right. Then reveal cards from the top of your library, like a, like Cascade, right? Right. Until you reveal a card with the chosen name. So, okay, I'll say Cruel Ultimatum. I'll be like, reveal, reveal, reveal. Oh, I found a Cruel Ultimatum. Put, the card, put that card into your hand and exile all the other cards revealed this way. 
So you exile the top X cards, six plus whatever to get to the card? Plus whatever to get to the card, yeah. Woo! And consider this. Say I name Thing in the Ice, and it's in the top six. Then you can't... Then you just die? Yeah, you just lose the game. Your whole deck gets exiled, and you're like, oh, well, I got messed up. I feel like you could combo with that card, though. Like, purposely exiling your deck? Oh, no, also, no, 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 uh, don't get me wrong, I love Kenji and Gabby, both of those are, but they're both great people, and uh, I, I have, I'm not saying anything negative about them, they're, they're both awesome. No, so, it's more like, like, Wizard of the Coast, just, for some reason, just seems to have a, a, a thing with Frank, where they just, I don't know. It's, it is it what it like, is. It feels like you never get anywhere with them. I, I do what I do, and they do what they do, and it's totally fine. I, uh, I'm not negative about it. It's, You're too hipster, they don't like your haircut. It's no big deal. Um, I... Do you mind consultation with Lab Man? Yeah, yeah, Lab Maniac. That makes sense. Let me just submit. Oh, wow. Demonic consultation and approach. You're just like, all right, XL the top six. Oh, look, the top cards approach. Yeah, we're just going to submit. I don't know what to. We saw like two cards. We saw Soren. We saw the stupid turtle. Oh, yeah. You could do that. What? The approach thing. I didn't even think of that. That's perfect. I mean, but you have to play in like Legacy, right? Like, it's not a modern legal card. And there's much better combos than Legacy. Keep. I can't be hair because Gabby's hair is long, but Kenji's going bald, so that covers all of it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Give me a blue red dual land. That's not it. That's exactly the opposite of what I asked for. Oh, it's probably because I incorrectly drafted and played Sky Skater non artifact decks. That is the worst. They're like, he clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, is it worth it to just play this so we can have a red source next turn? No, I'll just play 2-2 two, two here. Little 2-2. Two, two. That Time Spiller is heresy? This art's amazing. We literally had a whole conversation about how this art is fantastic before you got here to crap all over things. And the fact that you say heresy makes it seem like you don't actually dislike the art. You dislike the spirit behind the art that it's not the original. And that's just hipster. Get out of here. Just get out of here. Oh, that was yeah, like, I'm not I'm not dissing on the original art for our art for it. I'm just saying this new art is like really It's really good cool. art. Yeah. It looks great. It's a spiral. And there's time because you can see that she's getting younger in the pictures. It's just it's actually perfect. God, this turtle's really impressive. My casual deck, I can play whatever I want. I don't conform to your Wizards of the Coast sanctioned formats. Me and my kitchen table friends, we put whatever cards we want into our decks and play them that way. I don't think that creature was that great, I'll be honest with you. Using a swords on it seems pretty ambitious. What did you even sword? Exactly. It wasn't even memorable enough. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. Now, this is, look at this. Look at this turtle going to town. Turtle town. Well, that did hurt a little bit, unfortunately. But we couldn't cast this. Eh, whatever. You got me. Turtle Town Bright Eyes. Get in there with your turtle again. Do it. Look with your turtle eyes. Potatoes... But all the best art involves lots of balls and electricity. <laughs> Alright, well that's fair. See, that's a point I can get behind. Yeah, let's take your Soren. We got Leon and Relic Order. So you just play that and take my blue source next turn. This is kind of this is kind of obnoxious because I don't feel like you're doing very well. But like, so if we draw a red land, actually we get to go Pyroclasm and kill both of these and get our Signet back? Oh, come on. Red land one time, please. Come on, man. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like that. They have no cards in hand. It was this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's exactly the If we drew a red source there, we actually just probably kill. We triple kill. We have four mana. We probably can't lose the game if we draw a red source there. But we did not. It's super stupid. Yeah, it's gonna smell like this. I think it's I think we're good.
I actively am wearing my glasses. <laughs> I'm doing this actively. I passively wear my glasses. I don't really think much of it. I passive aggressively don't wear glasses. What is this? People invite me to weird, ma weird like Facebook groups, and I'm just like, man, I don't want to be in your Facebook. Florida's group. Mage Collective. <laughs> don't do that. Oh god, do we just keep the one lander? No. I might cut time spiral for like an 18th land. How do you feel about that? Mm. Yeah, you were checking out, all right. She just checked out. Um, I don't know how I feel about this hand. I don't hate it. Now we're on the we're on the play. We can't keep this. Yeah, what are you crazy? Oh God, well, this is how we lose. Either. Here we go. Yep, here we go. Oh God! Well, anyone land and we kind of unmulligan. <laughs> Maybe not exactly. But. I feel like our deck's definitely better than our opponents too. Oh, I agree with you. I agree with you completely, and I'm not just saying that because it's our deck. One time. Cool. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <sighs> nice to see your old buddy Manisker is back on stream. Yeah, nothing but pals here. Hey. Okie dokie. That was actually a good land. Come on back. We're not dead yet. I'm just going to take the land here. The other one's basically a land anyway. So. It's just an expensive -er land. expensive -er. Ooh. You blocking? No. Really? What am I going to just chump three when I'm at 15? Why would I block here? Because, man, that guy just... He's relentless. Who? The, that guy. The, this guy? I just terminate this guy next turn. No, I meant the other guy. Then I'll block him next turn. I'm not running out of time here, man. We can actually pyroclasm and keep up terminate, right? Running out of life. I think he sprung a leak. Actually, we're going to do one of these jobbies. I'm going to keep this up in case they want to activate Shambling Vent. I don't think they can, though, right? As soon as they activate... If they activate Shambling Vent and then they activate this, it taps the Shambling Vent, which is pretty hilarious. But they could still just attack with Shambling Vent, in which case I'd I'll rather block it. So what was that Exalted Angel last time? I'm not actually concerned with that until they flip it. Oh, that's our only black source. Fudge. Just Blazing Spectre attack their face. What does it cost to flip Exalted Angel? Four? It's not four, right? Is it five? It is four. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, we're just going to sit on this. Also, Crypt Angel of Pro White is pretty good. Yeah, we're just going to sit on Terminate here, which feels bad. If we had another Black Source, we'd be in great shape, but... Oh, no attacks? No, nothing. Alright. I think we can actually terminate this now and then start doing stuff. They're missing land drops. It was an Exalted Angel. Black Source, Black Source. Yes! Oh man, we're doing it. We are living the dream. Swords. So, uh, Soren, Liliana the Last Hope, and Grasp of Darkness. You can't cast any of these. Oh, wow. I think we got to go to the swords. Yeah, seems like the best. Everything way. else is pretty manageable.
and we're gonna keep this guy back to block because if they want to attack with this we can actually get it back with crypt angel which is nice their hand is pretty stacked though we're just hoping they don't hit a land i guess oh gross like voice of all seems pretty good just name black or red here you go land Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Slow roll. <laughs> like, we know your entire hand. Just play the land. Voice of all. Sounds good. What does that card do? Uh, it's just you choose a color. It has protection from the color. Hmm. But they choose... Black. Ah. Which means we can technically still draw, like, uh, Urza's Rage or something and kill it. We're just going to play the land. Yep. So we're going to take two, but... They can go Solemn here. They can go Relic Order to take nothing. Yep. Okay, now all your options are alive. This is also a mold of five, so, you know, like you do. Just this guy, huh? I'll take six, or three, I can get a six. Solemn is gone. Huh. That's actually reasonable. Pretty sure it's the pick. You can attack for five. We can block your turtle. You could grasp this guy. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Not close. Not close to that. Relic Order is in the trash can. How do you get in the trash can? Oh, from Blazing Spectre? I think we actually have to kill this. It's pretty problematic. The problem is if they attack with everything. Oh, they can't attack with Shambling Vent and Idol. Yeah, that's a non bow. Yeah, we're just going to keep Pro White back. We know the three cards in their hand. Ooh, Liliana's gone. That's pretty nice. Giving the Spectre negative two, negative O is pretty good. But now, now they can just play Grasp on Crypt Angel, I guess, and play Soren. Activate Turtle and attack with both. Oh. Interesting. That is not what I was expecting you to do. All right. It's a lifelink turn. Oh, it is a lifelink turn. Well, that is... Scary. <sighs> Not sure how to beat this now. Krolos made it one time? Oh, no, actually, I have a second black mana. Yep, that'll do, but... I'm pretty sure we're still dead because they have multiple guys on board. Yep, that'll do. Alright. Did not win the mold of five. Ponder into... Yeah, wouldn't have done anything. All right. Well, And I think we're on the play that game too, right? So, yes. So they had we five to eight the starting starting uh starting things off. Black mana would be good here. That's not it. Five. 
Forest. That's fascinating. Oh, it's a different match. I was like, Forest? They've been playing Black White. Where'd the Forest come from? Oh, that was a completely different match. Come on, land. Let's make it happen. We can, they can get extra lands. Why can't we? Man, how lucky. Yep. Well, that's kind of a land. Pass the turn. Passing the turn. That's also kind of like a land. Oh, this you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A basking root wall, a hard cast. All right. That's a land. Hard cast. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Hard cast. That's the name of my metal band. Good name. Oh, a Blazing Spectre and a Duress. I guess it's Blazing Spectre. Which of the two cards that I can't cast do I want? I have nine sources of black in the deck. That means nothing to the Moto Shuffle. It really fool. doesn't, yeah. <laughs> you think it cares of your black mana. Is this Hardcast Arrogant Worm? Hardcast Kodama of the North Tree. Woo! Trample Shroud 6-4. Well, that was a perfect draw. Kind of. Still doesn't let us do much. Jesus. I actually don't know how we beat the Trampoline Shroud Boy. I mean, we put enough bodies on the board to triple block it. Or double block it. Block it with enough bodies. You put the bodies on the board. You put the bodies on the board. Put the bodies on the board. Just have Shroud. That's dumb. I hate that mechanic. Shroud is not a fun mechanic. That is correct. Nor is Hexproof. Why don't you play Specty Boy? I don't know. I was I, I locked into Terminate. Because I'm thinking if we play Shriekmon next turn and uh, Seagate Oracle. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't. I'm, we're just taking six here. We can go to 14. That ain't, that ain't no big deal. Definitely should have played Specty Boy, I think. Interesting. I wonder what you name. I'll name Lizard. Elf, sure. Hmm. This just seems scary. I don't know if it is, but... Plus, I don't want to be sitting here with a bunch of cards in my hand. We want to be playing our cards... That's pretty good, because now we can do the blocks. And do or the actually, blocks. Or actually, so here's the thing. If we play Gilded Lotus here, this swamp actually really screws us, because it leaves us with four swamps. And then we have, actually, does that, one, two, three, four, five, that doesn't matter, does it? I have no idea what you're talking about, so sure. Well, because we can Cruel Ultimatum next turn. Oh, right. It would just filter through the Cascade Bluffs. Well, no, you can't spell it to black. But it doesn't matter, because you have blue, blue, red, red, and then you get three black from the Guild of Lotus, and this just doesn't matter. My question is... Is there something better to do? Like, is it better to play Shriek Maw this turn and kill... Like... In theory, it's better to play the Shriek Maw first, because... I want to get guys get off the back. board. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to... Yeah, we're going to cast it, and then we're going to double block here. Yeah, I agree with that. I want to get the Wall of Roots off the board, because I think they missed a land drop. They did. And I don't care about Ruwala because I just got the thing in the ice to block that forever. And they can't... The best part about Kodama of the North Tree is that they can't pump it. Right? Like, true. What it is is what it is. What it is, what it is. I mean, we're two for wanting us. Not really, though, because Shriek Maw got a guy and Secret Oracle got a guy. So it's actually three for two. Like, they lost three guys. They lost uh, Wall of Roots, this, and we drew a card. Three, four. All right. That's a six, four, good buddy. Niner, niner. That's a six, four, good buddy. We take one trample. That sounds good. 
they're going to be trampling over for uh, one damage here. Oh, they get it back. Oh, man, I wish we could... Uh, oh, no. Two, three, four, five, six. God. Powerclasm. Lightning? <gasps> oh! <Hey. laughs> Why did he do that? I don't know. I mean, we're just blightening in here. Blightening in here. Yeah. God, I wish... If we had one more land, we could go Gilded Lotus into Blightning, which lets us scroll made him, but... As it stands, I'd rather just get rid of that Kodama. And an Acidic Slime? We go this, they go Acidic Slime it? Wow, we yeah, dodged vomit. bullets left and right, man. Did you say vomit? I said vomit. Oh, vomit. I said vomit. This is why I don't invite him to the stream. Because he's too... He, I can't. You can't control him. You can activate that Mishra? No, I'm definitely blocking here. I like that. We can play Gilded Lotus and still cyc cycly rift if we want to. We can rift if we want to. We can leave y'all things behind. So the problem is if we Cyclonic Rift and then we Cruel Ultimatum, um, the Cruel Ultimatum will trigger this bouncing the Eternal Witness, which is unfortunate. So I don't think we actually Cyclonic Rift here, especially because we're going to... Turn an elf you control and tap a creature. Okay, as long as it's not return a human you control, I'm fine with that. Or a druid. So we take four again, go to five, but then we gain five. Yeah, I don't want to actually trigger... Oh, does that work? So we can go like this, and we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that still works, right? Black, black, black. Use one of it for this, which adds... Yeah, I think that works. God, I hope so. So we go three black, use one of it for this, which gives us the same three black. And then we got a blue. And then we're going to go blue or red. And then a red and cruelly. Choose this idiot. I'm sorry, that's not that's not what I meant. I didn't mean to call my opponent an idiot. You can dance if you wanna. You can do the dance today. Dance today, every single day. You're dancing every day. Gonna cruel ultimatum, we're gonna get back a Shriek Maw. And then we're gonna play the things in our deck because that's magic, the gathering. Uh, what do we get? The Shriek Maw? Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that's from. God, it's driving me crazy. So we play Shriek Maw, we kill this, and then we can then we can bounce things. Because this going back to... Oh, Regal Force was in your hand? Their deck is actually kind of scary. This is a lot of curry cheese, but it's okay. We're at 10. Oh, it's run the last troll, huh? Hmm. Huh. Sorry, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. So we can go Shriek Maw for 5. Wait, what if we just Urza's Rage with Kick of their face, flip the thing in the ice, and kill them? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, because it costs 12. Hey, yeah, we only have 11. If we're going yeah. Dang. I thought it cost 10 for some reason. I mean, we can still probably do that next turn, right? So we have 11 mana. 7, 8, 9... No, we just we still kill them, right? We Urza's Rage their face. Mm -hmm. We play Blazing Spectre, and we deal 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's still lethal.
Magic is a game for winners and losers. This is true. Everyone can play. Magic is a game for winners and losers. That's true. I'm going to take this transgress in here. Take out the duress. Take out the duress and bring in the transgress. I was going to do that. Yeah, I got you, buddy. Yeah, I got you rhymes right here, you stupid dummy. It's another new Thanos thing. Dude, like every company has a million variants. So this is a variant of the same issue. This is Thanos Legacy number one. There's a variant for that. This is another one that looks friggin' insane. And I'm just like, oh god, I can't keep up with these, man. You're killing me. Like every, like there's like four or five different like retailers, comic retailers that have different versions. And they all look ridiculous. <laughs> Got a little root wall. Oh, 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 oh. A little bit of root. going to kill us. What? This root wall is going to kill us. That's negative, man. Don't be negative. We got three, four, five, six, bro. You don't want to refill the green deck's hand? This time spiral feels like a mistake. What if we top deck power clasm? That seems pretty good, right? Yeah, I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate it. My name is Michael. I wouldn't hate it. That's terrible. How dare you? I'll hammer your skull in. Hammer time, boys. Mike, we know you love blue, but are you with the Jeskai or the Sultai? Choose your your next word. He's with both, actually. Those were his two favorite clans, he said. If I had to choose one, I would go Sultai, because I'm currently making a Sultai deck. I'm not making Jeskai deck, so clearly my Legion is with the Sultai. What are the odds of a Spider-Man PS4 stream? I'm going to watch somebody play it, and I think it should probably be you. Um, so here's the thing. I have a PS4 and a camera, and I'm definitely getting Sp Spooderman. So it's very possible. What do you think about Vendillion clicking ourselves and getting rid of the time spiral? An interesting line. Might be correct. Oh, Mike has four, four power. At, doesn't that make him teamer by default? Ooh. Maybe. Oh my god, I was today years old when I found out I spelled jalapeno wrong in my username for literally everything five years ago. That's amazing. Bets on you. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. What is this you're doing? Jalapeno. I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to see what you have in your hand. Because you're obviously going to try to draw some cards here. So, Sylvan Advocate is scary. Return an elf you control. You don't actually... Oh, this became an elf? Take that. That's also an elf, so it gets a counter. That's a little scary. Both of these are not great for us. Return an elf. So, you, you play this guy. You bounce the mimic. You play the mimic again. You're drawing two cards. You can only use it once each turn. Yeah, I think it's just got to be this guy. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, allow the shenanigans that the other one does. Like you get one card draw here theoretically because you have two lands. Is it commander? If so, what commander? Yes, I am building a uh, a CDC the Brood Tyrant deck. <laughs> Frank Mike and Mike Mike are Hammer Space Force. We're here to hammer the things that you can't. And by building, I mean waiting for my cards to arrive. And putting them in sleeves. Wow, Felipe's really loud about slamming doors, man. That guy makes sure that door is slamming closed. Slamming doors, slamming doors. Doodly doo 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 doors. Slam those doors every single day. You got what? Well, you got one one? All right, I'll take one. Hmm. Is it just Blazy Boy? Four twenty Blazy Boy. I'm going to the uh, I'm going to the home furnishing store and getting me a Blazy Boy. 
Hmm. This guy doesn't have reach, right? This guy seems like a reachy guy. I have a CDC deck as well. Cool. What's the theme of it? Uh, CDC, dummy. Is it zombie tribal? Is it bomby blabby? Sklebity blap blap blamby? That's how Mike sounds. You guys don't. You guys can't hear it, but I can hear it. I'm gonna kill your land. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is gonna be so much damage, man. The theme of my CDC deck is mill yourself a bunch of time, make a bunch of zombies, have filth in the graveyard. Have filth in the graveyard. Put Orborg into play and kill everyone. Mike's really good at having filth in the graveyard. Oh, it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. We're gonna block the Mutavault because it gets you one, one, one away from this Vendillion, this Sylvan Avocado. God, these lands are not what we want. We're gonna play this. Oh god, we keep getting like this. Is card has been dead every single time, right? Brand new life around the bend. I'm just gonna play this. <sighs> Feeling bad. Feeling bad. This match seems bad. I'm gonna take the time spar a lot. It's just terrible. Yeah, we've literally never cast it. I've so. never cast it. Nor like they always have zero cards because we have so many other discard spells. And I really don't want to cast it now when they have one card because that seems bad. I mean, if we go Seagate Oracle or Shriek Maw or something into Cruel Ultimatum, we're very much in this game. Although, Imperious Perfect is definitely a thing. Um, block you. No, I think we're dead, actually. All these guys are three power, so yeah, I need to get through and we're dead. Yeah, never mind. We're not in this game at all. I don't know how magic works. It works in mysterious ways, my child. Thing in the Ice and the Time Spiral on the flip. But yeah, but that, that means, I mean, like, if Thing in the Ice has one counter left, then that, that works, but... Alright, we would have drawn a Swamp into a Crypt Angel. None of those things are doing it. Um, yeah, Time Spiral comes out. Actually, Powder Keg could be good here. Each artifact and creature. Yeah, that seems good. Let's bring that in. We can hit twos or threes or whatever. Mine is a graveyard dumper. <laughs> I got a graveyard dumper. <laughs> That's what I call your mom. A graveyard dumper? Yeah. I'm going to keep this hand. Yeah, this hand seems gas. I just want to have the cruel ultimatum. Believe it or not, Cruel Ultimatum really pulls you ahead you've been, in, in you've certain You've been live ways. for way more than one hour and 12 minutes. Oh, I, I, our stream went down. Oh. I started at two, so we've been up for about five hours and 18 minutes. So, Wow, first turn Ancient Tomb. Fascinating. That's interesting to me because like, you're playing him. Oh, all right. Well, Shriek Maw can't kill that guy. Oh, but Terminate can... Insta kill it. Imperius perfect. Take another two. Dang. I think I still kill that. Unless we draw like way boy. Seagit Oracle. Seagit Oracle. Seagit Oracle. Will it? Will it? Will it? Oh, that's actually pretty okay. Hmm. Do we shriek monster? They have nothing on board. What if they play like a Pelucranos, though? That's a little scary. Yeah, I don't think Shriek Mocking the 2 2 is that good. I agree with you. I just wanted to be mana efficient, and I think that's. Also, I call it a Shriek Mocking. <laughs> so, whatever that is. Oh, uh, that's the Shriek Mock King. <laughs> Discord informed me that I just went live. That's weird. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. <laughs> we have a good time. Do we? Do up. No, you're right. Hey man, you hungry? Yeah, I'm starving, bro. You're starving? Yes.
Well, Garrick's pretty good. Is this... No. This has got to be Den Protector, right? Probably. Garrick's on four, so he can trample immediately? Good lord. What's happening right now? Do we just have to go hit Garrick with our blazer? Our 420 blazer? <laughs> Unless we want to get trampled to death, I think so. I don't. I ain't about that trample in life. I feel like we're way far behind right now. This is really sad. Yeah, he's pretty threat dense. We started with a 3-0, and then we went 2-1, and now I feel like we're going 1-2. And we got a Cruel Ultimatum in our hand? The reverse special. Yeah, we like it. We got progressively worse today. It's really sad. Don't be a Kodama of the North Tree. Thanks. Why'd you say it? I didn't want it to be that. Did you just make a Beastie Boy? We're at 18. I want to squeeze a couple of drafts in on this cube. Any hot takes? Or I? This is the third time I've drafted, so it's hard to say. Um. Okay, that is one too many swamps, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. 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 I mean, they have no energy, so I don't really care about that. Attack Garrick, block here. Play a Jace, draw some cards. Oh god, it sounds so bad. We gotta we gotta keep the pressure on the Garrick though. I don't think we're gonna survive to play Cruel Ultimatum. That makes me very sad. I think we're dead. God, our Cruel Ultimatum deck was so cool. We crushed them in the in round one. Wow. Now we're going to six here, so Kodamo is lethal. <laughs> Pro black, huh? Seems good. Seems uh, very good. Yep, I think that's the end. That is not going to do it. Nope. Yeah, well, there's nothing we can hit here. This is uh, pretty miserable. Yeah, okay. Cool. Nice joke. All right. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, check me out on Twitch and Patreon if you enjoy the content and want to support me in any way, shape, or form because this is what I do. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, and hopefully we can do a little bit better.